out the producing artistic director of the One Minute Play Festival, and tonight you're going to see 105 brand new One Minute Plays by 60 Boston playwrights, staged by 10 amazing directors, and performed by a company of nearly 65 actors and community members. Organization. We partner with playwrights and community specific theaters all around the country. We invite playwrights living in these cities to engage in our playmaking process. We do not tell them what to write about, but sort of look at emerging themes, ideas, trends, what's happening in the zeitgeist. And we use this as a barometer project to sort of take a picture of where we might be. So this is our way of artistically saying, here's 105 pulses of story that sort of speak to where we are as a community. We are here for the third year partnering with the amazing Boston Playwrights Theater. Um, we are supporting with your proceeds. Um, it's important to note that you guys being here tonight, your money gives directly back to your community. We're supporting Boston Playwrights Theater's uh, artistic residency and uh, community-based programming. So that's artist residency, like subsidized and free space for artists, some of which are in our shows. And we also use this money to fund the Boston Theater Marathon, which is popular. So we thank you for that. Um, I'd like to introduce uh, Mr. Peter here from uh, the theater, and he's one of our alums here. I am. Um, so yeah, basically Dominic just told me, oh, you should come and say something about the program. It's like, okay, so I have nothing prepared. <laughs> so, Boston Playwrights Theater, uh, in a nutshell. Um, it is the, uh, the MFA program at Boston University for playwriting. Uh, we produce three shows a year by alumni playwrights. We present the, the Boston Theater Marathon every year. Uh, we support uh, local high schools. We send our alums out to high schools all over the state to teach playwriting. Um, and we're, we're generally awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, those of you watching online, hopefully if our internet connection holds up, we're having a tech difficulty. If not, we are streaming a, um, a backup copy to be uploaded tomorrow as an archive. Uh, this is on HowlRounds, HowlRound TV. You can find it on the internet at livestream.com slash newplay or howround.tv. Um, again, thank you so much for thank being you. here. And now the third annual Boston Movie Play Festival. <laughs> Michelle? Michelle? What? Did you take my hat? You can't use it as a bra. It smells. I don't care. Get it. Oh, please. Honestly, I think the pepper's going to be better than that. Beware. Matt. Oh, wait! Get my hat. <laughs> Just, oh. 
Jesus. <laughs> Need. It's a big word, isn't it? And they're up! Come on, you six! Come on, six! Go, you six! Morning line on number six is 17 to 1. A long shot. Open her up! Open her up! What are you doing? Work that horse! Work it! Morning line is smarter money, generally. Near post time emotion. Come on, you six! Ha ha! That's it! Six! Six! Horse's name is Baby Come Home. <laughs> That's a strange name, Baby Come Home. Open her up! You've got a lot of horse left! Come on! Go! 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 Post time on for four to one. Hard to see a name like that, and I'm getting to thinking, Baby Come Home. Come on, you six! Oh, stretch! That's it! You got it! Go! 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 I bet on three. <laughs> Bad whiskey. <laughs> Wins by a nose. I know damn well she ain't coming home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just 
try to make the moment last. It's January. <laughs> Players are all home and clean shaven. <laughs> I can still see Uohara thrusting his glove into the air. Yeah, it still gives me chills. Makes me feel all warm inside. Well, it ain't warm out here. You can't say it. This is the one place where things make sense. Whether the ball is fair or foul, the runner is safe or out. Plus some jack up uncalled interference. How <laughs> there? People blow up crowds at the marathon. Bosses lay off people by the hundreds. Maybe a wife tells her husband she's leaving. Maybe his kids say they hate him. Maybe nothing makes sense. Except right here. I can still hear the crack of the ball if Victorino's back.
mine theoretically, flew out the back door straight up like a scream and disappeared through a hole in the sky. He used to sing me a new song every morning. A never before heard song every single morning. I, he sang looking into my eyes. And just because I don't see him anymore,
<laughs> don't touch the chicks. There's a shitty chest no one steals. <laughs> Trash cans only work for a little while because the garbage man toss them on the sidewalk. Don't write a fucking sign. No one does it. You can move a chair to one of groceries, but move it back when you're done. I need to park my car now. Let us start digging. I already spent the morning. There's a digging. spot down there that's just snow. <coughs> I'll help. And I have a spare shitty chair. <laughs>
legs and no one else to walk it that knew how, you know, with the three legs. Who has that kind of time? I'll tell you what. Guilty. Ugh, these people clogging up the system. Lock everyone up. Jesus, right? Oh, the 20th? Three? Oh, my kid has karate. I don't need my nails. <laughs> Look, just message me on Facebook when you're free. I totally want to get together, do coffee. You know, sure. Right. Great. I was lying. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> GPS isn't working. Oh no, you won't be able to check in. People will think you're home. <laughs> what? Nothing's where we're supposed to link. You don't know her. Did <laughs> you just tweet? Did you think my date should put down his phone and look at me? Did I do that? Oh my god. You just told 1,200 people that you're going to kiss me? Guilty. I can't tell if I'm thrilled or annoyed. It's our first kiss. And we're gonna walk, walk. No, silly. I just wanted to get your attention. Full undivided attention, no little boxes with faces of other people, just <laughs> you and me. Oh my god, that's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at you now. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you texting? 
texting me. You're on a date. He's in the bathroom, obvi. <laughs> <laughs> Moving in? Yeah. Nice place. 
You rent it? No, we bought it. Nice. Yeah, it needs a little work, but the price is right, you know? Yeah? Yeah, whoever owned it before the bank took it back let it get run down. Well, yeah, things happen. Yeah, but for the price, it was a real steal. Yeah? Huh. What? Nothing. My grandmother used to say, if you get something for a steal, you can be sure someone else was robbed. <laughs> Good one. You uh, live around here? Me? No, not anymore. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
continue talking about the Middle East. Seriously, if I never have to hear about the Middle East again, I will die. Yeah. yeah. And I think if we could harness the energy created by gym equipment, <laughs> we could solve the world energy crisis. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that one. Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> totally. <laughs> da oh, stop it. Oh. Da Pick someone. Shut up, yellow duck. You're it. You all of a you have all but you're gonna say goose. Oh, just say it already. Please, just say it already. Oh, fine. Goose. I'm gonna trip you so you can get ashy knees. Call me ashy again, you Vietnamese duck. Duck sauce. Quack, quack. Quiet, you nigger. You just said a bad word. I know, you just said a bad word. You're gonna make fun of me. Come on, Annalise. Oh, 
Maintain contact for two to four weeks, allowing for sufficient time for the synchronization of the pulse. Mm -hmm. Step two, establish occupancy in the immediate oxygenation zone of the subject. <laughs> Maintain that proximity for a period of four to 12 weeks, allowing time for the subject to adapt to habitual hypoxemia. Step three, <laughs> place the fingers between the spaces of the thoracic vertebrae, evenly spaced between TH1 and TH12. Maintain continuous contact for a period of four to 12 months. By this time, the subject's autonomous nervous system will have rerouted, becoming completely integrated and dependent. Step four. No, babe. We can be the Luthers. 
at these odds? I think so. Don't you? <laughs> well, I hi, um... <laughs> oh, gotcha!
First time your dog saw Jessie and her little stump started wagging, she yip, 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 ran across the room and jumped into his lap. She sensed he was fat. First time she saw me, she peed all over my shoes. <laughs> She's a slut. I should have gone, err. Sure, that pin. You're just like your dog. Loyal except when you're not. The last time Jessie came over, I found a goldfish in the toilet. What kind of moron would kill a fish? Well, you know what? This time I killed the dog. That isn't possible. <coughs> Do me a favor. Let's go to the kitchen and check. Don't even say such a thing. I killed the dog and nailed it to the wall. My car, dude. Oh, dude, I don't feel so good. You're dying, dude. Uh, you got hit. I got hit hard. Better take care of business. Bucket list time before you go all stiff. Shout out to your woman. Scratch your nose. My nose is just doomed from here to eternity. I'm just a buck, man. I got babes, but no women. I've never been in love. I never said I love you. Me neither. Could never pull the trigger. Word choice, dude. Love has eluded us, dude. Well, too late now. Stepping up, right? Better make your move. Some last something before it's too late. Pressure, dude, I can't think. Scratch my nose, then, dude. <laughs> that guy, he just, he just hit me. He just ran off. Hurry! I'm trying, dude. I, I can't, dude. I'm dead, dude. Fuck you, dude. I love you, too, dude. <laughs> Remember that project I was telling you about? Uh huh. Yeah, the one where I get my cat super high on catnip, and then I lead her to the ceiling fan where I spread some tuna fish on the fan blade, and then I turn it on, and then I become fucking famous, like huge. Well, yeah. Well, my mom walks in in the middle of filming and tells me to get a job. No, she, <laughs> she has no appreciation for real. <laughs> I'm a dog. Woof! My name is Rex. Andrew, stop it! <laughs> this is my mistress. I love her. She loves me. She feeds me. She takes me on walks. Andrew, will you get up already? You look ridiculous on the floor like that. She loves me so much that she treats me as if I was a person just like her. <laughs> my mother is coming over in an hour. I'd like to see you act like a civilized human being for once. Honestly, sometimes I think she forgets that I'm a dog. For Christ's sake, I'm not going to tell you again. Get up. All right, all right, fine. Go change your shirt. Fine! Whatever! <laughs> I'm a cat. My name's Butterscotch. <laughs> And the bar will snap down on your neck and it's 
I'm going to come back in here, bake the chop again, load the spring, wash my hands, and go to work. And if any of your family tries to come in here while I'm gone, they will be killed by the same trap. With some of your hair in it, maybe. Oh, and, and also blood, but they will all die. Do you understand? You said there's peanut butter on there? <laughs> Not anymore. I don't 
believe in science anymore. Why? Yesterday, when I came home from work, there was this beautiful, sweet little dead bird lying right in front of my front door. What's that? Show, remember? Yeah, the BCA. 
again. A couple of us went out after. We got so drunk. He, he wanted us to go to Alaska. He had a friend there on a fishing boat. We considered it. Hard to imagine his face in the middle of a frozen tundra, a couple of fishermen in his audience. Stopped going to class for it after that. Yeah, I remember. I wish he had stayed. And then I, I forgot about him. I mean, I until I saw his face everywhere. In the newspapers. A few days after the marathon. are crazy times we're living in. That is an understatement, I know. But it's true. There is a constant state of flux all around us. There is nothing you can throw away. Uh, I, just I mean, I can't it. even jog past a black backpack now without getting case of the shivers. I went into Odell's two weeks after the marathon, and they had a whole wall full of black backpacks. And I was like, are you freaking kidding me? Seriously? It was just so insensitive. Well, well, I mean, and now it's affecting my work. I, mean, I can't even look at any of my students now without seeing threats, threats all around me. Did you teach kindergarten? I have no idea what kind of dark thoughts lurk in the mind of a boy to roll. I like cats that way. Adorable, but constantly thinking of murder. <laughs> I never. My point is, it is totally unfair to die alone. You need to have somebody to help you hold back that darkness. Marry me, and we can hold back that darkness together. That, that sounds, you know this is our first date. <laughs> yeah. So, what's your point? <laughs> Structure you taught us last week. 
And that way I can look at both sides and offer a resolution to the Jewish and Muslim people. <laughs> You need to remember you're only going to have 25 minutes, and you're not given any scrap paper. Uh, maybe I'll pick something different? Great. Whatever topic you pick, just decide your decision right from the start. You don't even need to believe in it. Just go with whatever is most easiest to defend. Attack. 
I remember feeling the heat, seeing a, a small flicker, a curly cue of black. He gave his life to save me. And then suddenly, flames, faster and fiercer than any living creature. His love was so vast, swallowing up my Lucy. Bigger than the earth, too big to be held in one heart. Uh, out of our minds, we rush in. Not like Bob's everyday love. He cannot bear to lose what matters most to him in that moment. Hers is the kind that fits like a hand in the pocket. So he goes for his stash. The poison that ignited our home. I take this breath because of his love. My hands find her in the dark haze, eyes closed, feet rushing fire, the air we need to breathe, and God so close. It's the reason I walk this earth. And as I pull her out onto the cool green grass, she wakes. Daddy? the words forming in my scorched heart coming up through my blistering esophagus. Your daddy was a hero.
day. Every time I closed my eyes, I was there. The ground shook, everyone around me went down. I, I have no business standing here on two good legs. I'm never going to be Boston strong, not this April, or the next one, or the one after that. It's, it's today. It's, it's right now, understand? Marathon coming happened and all we got was a lousy fucking t-shirt. Mr. Strong? I suppose you still want to 
switch places? The answer is still no. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
the Nightingale and the Fuck you, you fucking fuck. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. Uh, have you never seen the area before? No? No, I have not. Okay. Uh, just, uh, um, be careful. <laughs> How do I do it? What do you want to see? I, I hear there is a cat in a really bad mood. <laughs> So if you click on it, your screen's just gonna fill up.